Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. I recently purchased a used rotary cutter with a PTO shield that is shot. And you can see it there in the bottom of the picture. And today I'm going to show you how to replace a shield like that uh, with a new shield, which you see here. And it's a real simple process. Um, it's raining today. You probably see it raining on the pavement. And it's a good day to be doing a project like this. This shield, uh, were it kicked in right now, if I kicked in the PTO, all of it would go around. Uh, you basically have the back half of the shield here next to the uh, shear pin that could, could function, but at some point somebody has uh, run it into a uh, probably the deck of the cutter. Or I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but uh, you can't slide a, sh a shield over that, so that won't work. And then this front part here has just been going round and round with the PTO shaft. I don't know that you got any safety out of this. You'd probably be just about as well taking the entire thing out, and you'd be about as, as safe with just the naked PTO shaft going around and around. But we don't want that. So what I did, I went to my local farm equipment store, and I bought these shields. And um, these shields are fairly expensive, and they come with two collars. Uh, the whole thing cost me about 59 bucks, but when you compare that to the hospital bills, if you ever got into that, or the possibility you died, uh, that's pretty cheap. So I'm going to show you how to put those on, and it's a pretty simple process. Okay, first thing we've got to do, we actually got lucky on this end of the PTO shaft here. We don't need to do anything on it, but get it disconnected. This right here, take that off and go away. That gets thrown away. This, this part of the PTO shaft right here is important that it has a danger. If the guard's missing and it's off, then this little decal shows and says don't operate without the guard on. So we've got that part done. This part still has the shield partially connected. And on this particular shield, to get it off, what we need to do it's, there's there's little plastic, uh, I guess you could call them bolts, and if I turn them a quarter turn, they'll come they'll come totally out. So I'm going to turn each one of them, and there's three of them, a quarter turn, and then I'm going to pry them out like so. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Now this may be the design that the ones you, uh, the shields you buy to put back on will be. So that's why I'm showing you this. Now this tube should come right out, which it does. And then I'm going to throw it away. And then what's left is this shield, which comes right out, which, which is fairly nasty, and going to the dumpster. And then here is a collar, and it and, and it had those the, the tabs that the uh, that the uh, screws went in were on this collar, and this collar has a little gap in it right here, so I can peel it back and take it off. And I'm going to spend a few minutes cleaning this up because I don't want to put it together all gommed up like this. So when I come back here in just a second, it'll be clean. Okay, we have both halves of the PTO shafts apart and on the workbench. And when you got them apart like this, an excellent time to grease everything. It grease the Zerks because they're easy to get to. But what we're going to do, we have test fitted all of these. They, they, the kit provides multiple plastic collars uh, as part of the shield, and we've test fitted them. Um, my perception is, and I haven't measured it, this PTO shaft yoke is a little smaller, and this is the part that goes to the gearbox and then this one. So I had to pick out two of these plastic collars that worked. And what you want to do is just put them over the PTO shaft, spread them out, and put them in. There's a groove right here. See that, that, that groove right there? And the, these plastic collars will fit over those grooves. So we're going to spread it apart. And it takes a little bit of finagling, and it clips right on. There's one done, and we're going to do the other one. There. They're both on. 
There's a little bit more of a gap right here, which concerns me a little bit. We're going to see if we have any problem with that. Then we're going to take the shield, which I have right here. And, and the shields will say whether they go to the tractor or the gearbox. This particular one is the part that goes to the back. It goes to the, to the gearbox. And we're going to put it over. And we know this is the PTO part that goes to the gearbox because it's got the shear pin on it right here. We're going to put that in right like so. These red tabs here need to be out. We're going to push it in there until that plastic collar is seated. And then we just snap these plastic tabs in place. Now, pull on it to make sure it's there and make sure it turns, and it does. So that one is good. This one, here is the, uh, the information on the PTO shaft cover that tells where it goes. And this one goes, it says it points to the tractor. And this is the part right here that goes toward the tractor. So we're going to slide this collar on. We're going to push, push it to make sure it seats. There it goes. It's not quite in yet. Is it? Sometimes it takes a little work. And sometimes you got to kind of lift up on the back. Oh, why is that not going in? Oh, I've got one more tab that's not open. There, it slides right in when you get the tabs open. Okay, we're going to push that one down and that one down. Now, that turns a little tight, which concerns me, but the, the last thing you have to do, even though this is plastic, there's a grease circ right there. And we're going to fill that thing just totally full of grease. If you'll keep these things full of grease, these will last a long time. If you don't, you'll be doing this job again quickly. So we're going to pump that totally full of grease. And then we're going to see if it turns easier. Oh yeah, it's getting easier all the time. All right, we're going to button this back up. The smaller part, the smaller shaft, I'm going to squirt a liberal coat of WD-40 on the end here, both on the metal part and the shield part before I slide it back together and that'll make hooking up easier from now on. So when we got it all done and back on the brush hog, this is what it looks like. And we fastened a chain through a hole in the shield, through a little bracket in the shield and through a hole on the PTO shield. And when we kick on the PTO, the PTO will go around, the shield will stay stationary, and it'll make it a lot safer.